Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. Uh, my setup is a little different today. I've moved the chair that I normally sit in out of the way and I'm down here, the lower part of my bookshelves, and I'm just kind of wanting to do a little purging. Um, I've seen some books sitting around lately that I'm just like, you know what, I'm really tired of these books just sitting here and I'm just really ready to like get rid of some stuff um especially because you know I've bought a few books here and there lately I will be doing a haul video eventually and there's more books that I want to buy and I don't have a lot of space and I'm just ready to get rid of some books so um there's some books that I've read that I just don't want to read again and then there's some I haven't read and I have a hard time just like getting rid of books without at least giving them a chance. I was thinking I might do this thing that I've seen a few people on booktube doing and that is like a try a chapter thing. I think normally people do that to decide if like what book they want to read next. I think I saw someone do it though deciding what book they wanted to get rid of. But that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, There's a couple books that I haven't read before and I don't really think I want to keep them but I'm like I'm going to try reading like the first chapter or so and if I'm not feeling it I'm getting rid of it. I'm just I'm tired of these books. So without further ado let's get straight into it. Excuse my voice by the way I'm getting over uh, cold. I know for a fact um, I'm getting rid of Oath of the Brotherhood. I don't know if I said I was unhauling this in a previous video, but I am unhauling this. I, I gave it a four star to start out with, but I just don't really care what happens next. There's so many other things that I would much rather try reading, so many other things that I know that I would enjoy more. So I'm sorry to you people that like really loved this series. Like it was pretty good. It just like I ended up dropping it down to a three and a half star rating which isn't a bad rating it's just I'm not gonna read this again and I just don't care about the other books so Life Just Got Real by Sadie Robertson this is like contemporary YA and I don't really remember a single solitary thing about this book and I've I held on to it because I remembered liking it I think I gave it four stars so I was like I just want to like reread it I'll keep it or get rid of it depending on how I feel on the reread the fact I don't remember anything about it I just like I just really don't care. Then I have Her Hill Country Cowboy by Myra Johnson. I kept this one because it's about like a single dad. I'm kind of into the single dad thing sometimes. But like this other girl is like a social worker and he's trying like not to lose custody of his kids and that storyline does not interest me at all. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna like this. So I'm gonna try a chapter of this and then let's see what's back here because I know like my Nancy Drew books. Yeah, here they are. I read some of these. I don't know if I read all of them. Oh, I hate getting rid of them. Look, the covers are kind of cute. Look how vintage. Ugh, I was going to get rid of them, but now I'm like, should I get rid of them? I might keep these because Nancy Drew is a little bit older in these books. Oh, I might get rid of the ones where she's like younger, like the from the original series, you know? Look at all of these suspense books that I have yet to read. I just keep collecting them and not reading them because I'm hardly ever in the mood for suspense. Okay, I have these John Grisham books. Ooh, I might need to do a try a chapter with these. They're so like thick. <coughs> I got the Testament because of Oshina and the client, I think this was a movie and I saw it and I liked it. So I got the book. These are the other Nancy Drew books that I was talking about. They're just kind of cool, but like you don't even see them on my shelf. And I've read like one of them. I just never want to read these. I'm never in the mood for a Nancy Drew book. These are really old. Someone gave these to me. I think I read this one because it had a horse on it. Part of me wants to keep them, but I'm like, I just, I don't need to hoard these books that I'm probably not gonna read. And if I do read them, probably only gonna give them like three stars. Like, why am I doing this? The Hardy Boys books, I read one or both of these, I don't remember. It was okay, so I don't know why I still have them. Uh, Jefferson Burke and the Secret of the Lost Scroll by Ace Collins. This is a book that I got for like a dollar from christianbook.com years ago. The title, the cover, like it's kind of intriguing, but like when I read what it's actually about, I'm like, I, this does not sound like my sort of thing. So I'm gonna try a chapter. The Trial by Robert Whitlow. Again, this was a movie. I saw it, I liked it picked up the book but I'm like I saw the movie do I need to read the book this is another one that I need to try a chapter and see if it sounds interesting to keep because I've had that one for a long time we'll just stick these back here for now and then I'll come back and organize these after I decide what I'm keeping and not keeping oh I have these I forgot I had these Ted Decker books I need to read these. Mind Siege Project by Tim LaHaye and Bob DeMoss. This is book one in the Soul Survivor series. 
So this is a four book YA series. Our main characters are Christian, but she has a lot of friends that aren't Christians. And so she's always trying to like talk to them about God and influence them, you know, for good and save them from their own <laughs> mistakes and troubles that they end up in from their bad decisions. I haven't read this in years. This book just kind of became a part of the scenery and then I just forgot that it existed. I don't think that I would like this anymore, so I might just kind of get rid of this. I don't think I'll ever reread this. I actually started reading this one. My bookmark is still in here. I made it to chapter five. This is The Shock of Night by Patrick W. Carr, The Dark Water Saga. This was so boring and I could not get into it. I think I'm gonna hold on to these for a little bit longer. I just like, I like the way they look. I'll try a chapter of admission or will I? I don't know, this one sounds kind of good. Wait, this is already interesting. The first page, what is happening? Does he have amnesia? That might be why I bought this. I'm not gonna try a chapter today. I'm actually like gonna sit and read this eventually. These Ted Decker books, I don't know. We'll just leave those alone for now. I'm not gonna look at those today. All right, I think I found the books that I want to try a chapter of. Danger in the Shadows by Dee Henderson. I might actually go ahead and unhaul this one. I just didn't love it. I think I gave it three stars. Um, this is a prequel in the O'Malley series and I wasn't a huge fan of like the romance or the main characters. And for a suspense novel, it was not very exciting and I thought it was really anticlimactic and like nothing really happened. It was more about the characters getting to know each other more so than it was about the suspense side of things. So I found it a little bit um, disappointing. So I think I'm actually gonna go and get rid of that one. I'll never read it again. This one, Cape Refuge by Terry Blackstock. The day I bought this, I started trying to read it and it was so incredibly boring. So I think I'm gonna try this one more time, try a chapter and if it's still not good, I'm gonna get rid of it because this is a stack of books that I'm gonna read one chapter from each one, give or take, and find out what I'm keeping to give another shot later and what I'm getting rid of. Let's start first with her Hill Country Cowboy. <laughs> This is, why is this such a long chapter? I didn't quite finish the chapter and I was kind of skimming. I was smiling because this book starts out where this woman, um, she's like on her way to lodge or whatever that she reserved and she has to stop because this cowboy is like in the middle of the road and he's like carrying a turtle that was in the road to safety on the other side. <laughs> So at first she's annoyed, but then she realizes that he has two kids in the truck and they're like, obviously they're the reason why he stopped to do this. Um, and I just thought that was like so cute. <sighs> what a dad. And then she like can't get her car to start. So he's like, oh, like pop the hood. Like I'll take care of it. And I'm just like, again, what a guy. But then after that, I quickly like lost interest. So I started skimming because the girl was already getting on my nerves because she like drove away while he was trying to talk to her because she got irritated about something he said. And I'm like, that is so rude. And he just helped you with your car and saved a turtle's life. I just like don't think I'll actually read this. Yeah, I just, I don't think, I don't think. Let's try The Testament by John Grisham. Okay, surprisingly, like, chapter one was interesting. Um, I thought the writing, like, the the way it was written was going to be really boring and, like, I don't know. I just didn't think it was going to be, like, engaging at all. But the way it was written was, like, actually good and entertaining, at least for the first chapter. Um, and I'm actually, like, kind of interested if it continues on in the same way. So I'm actually going to keep this one for now, and I'm actually surprised. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's try The Client now. So did I say I saw a movie about this? Because this actually is not at all familiar, so I don't think I did. So opening scene, just an older brother teaching his little nine-year-old brother how to smoke a cigarette, just sibling stuff, you know. And then they come across this lawyer that's trying to commit suicide and he's like kind of out of his mind. So he's like, you ruined my moment. So now you're going to die with me, kid. Um, and tells him the secret about a dead body and where it is and everything. Yeah. So it's actually like kind of started off kind of interesting, but there was like a lot of language just in the first chapter, which was like 30 pages by the way, but there was like way too much language. We're going to say goodbye to this one. We'll stick with the theme and I'll read the first chapter of The Trial by Robert Willow. Okay. I read the prologue and part of chapter one. Um, it starts off similarly to the movie. I already know like everything that's going to happen. So like there's no mystery. There's no real suspense. So I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. Time to try this one again. Pretty sure it's not gonna be any better the second time around. 
You know what? I don't even want to read this one. I'm just getting rid of it. I know I'm not, I didn't like it the first time five chapters in. I don't want to read that again. It was so boring. Maybe it gets better, but I'm not willing to be patient enough to wait for it to get there. But let's try By Reason of Insanity by Randy Singer. I actually read two chapters because I was intrigued. I don't know. Like, I'm kind of curious, but like... I don't think it's interesting enough. I, I'm i so tempted to hang on to it for a little bit longer, but like, one i don't want to give this one another chance i just i just don't i think there's so many other fantasy books out there that i just would like more so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get rid of this one all right the last one the lost scroll jefferson burke let's see probably a reason this book was only 99 cents i'm like two pages in and i'm just like already bored i don't care of what this guy is doing those are all the books so the only one that i kept that i wanted to do a try a chapter i guess was the testament and i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this one because the other john grisham book had a lot of language and this one had like one word in the first chapter but it could have just been the character at the beginning of that book the whole book might not have been that way but we'll see this is a pretty good unhaul this feels pretty good yeah it's gonna be good to get these out of the way like truly is there anything else I'm gonna get rid of? <laughs> While we're on a roll anyway, uh, I see a couple other I could have done a try chapter with that I forgot I had, but I think I'll just leave it there. I have been thinking about getting rid of Mark of the Thief. I liked this and I gave it four stars, but do I want to read the second book? Mm, not really, not particularly. Um... Now that it's been a long time since I read it, I just don't really care anymore. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't want it. Oh, there's another one actually. So I am actually currently a little halfway through reading this book. It's Recruits by Thomas Locke. This is book one in a YA sci-fi duology. And I own book one and two. Over halfway through this one and I'm I'm buddy reading it, but like I really am not liking this. And so if things keep continuing to go the way that they're going, I'm going to be unhauling this when I'm done and I'm also going to be unhauling book two, obviously. But I'm not quite yet because I'm going to finish this. If by some miracle things turn around, it's definitely not going to happen. I don't like the way it's written and I think things are like confusing and like just not explained well. I'm just like, it's just not, it's not... It's just not for me. I'm just like not enjoying it. It's not interesting. And it doesn't actually take that long to read. It's just taking us a while because I don't read this every day. And I don't think my buddy reading partner is either. So we're like taking our time going through this. When I'm done, I'm sure I'm probably going to give it like two stars. And then I'm going to haul this. And book two is called Renegades. So sadly these two are going to be added to the unhaul pile but for now i just have these thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if you read any of these books what your thoughts and opinions are on them let me know what are what's a book you unhauled recently i'd be very curious to know let me know what your unhauling habits are hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next book of Shramlings video bye